know. Hey, Dia. Hey, Andy. How are you feeling? I'm good today. Are you good yeah. today? So, uh, how's your back? It's doing better. Better? What do you mean by better? Hey guys, it's Tia and Andy here, and today we're bringing you our tips for if you get sick or hurt on a vacation. We're bringing you this video because I managed to throw out my back on our trip here in Mexico. Yep. Great surprise. <laughs> this girl hurts herself all the time, so she's a pro at dealing with things uh, on the go. The first trip ever to Beijing that we took together, hurt her ankle walking. I'm pretty clumsy. Yep. So Tia, run us down your list of things to do when you get hurt on a trip. All right. Step number one, do not panic. Panicking will only make things worse. Um, just stay calm and evaluate the situation. So for me personally, I threw out my back. I have thrown out my back before, so I knew exactly what was going on. I knew it was going to be painful, and I knew that it was going to take a few days to get better. Um, but by not panicking, you're then able to kind of logically think through things and kind of evaluate what's going on. Which brings us to tip number two. Which is what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah to look up your injury online, especially if you already had this experience in the past. So a lot of people say don't self-diagnose, which makes sense when you're in your home country and you have your doctors that you can go to. However, when you're in a foreign country, uh, it is always a good idea to look online and see what the interwebs recommends. So although I have thrown out my back before, uh, both Andy and I did some research online to see um, if there's anything we can do to kind of speed up the healing process, make things a little bit easier. Yeah, and to answer the age-old question, heat or cold? cold. <laughs> okay, number three. Number three is to take any medication that you may have brought with you to help the situation. So, uh, luckily, I did pack muscle relaxants with me because I have thrown out my back before. Um, and so, immediately following, um, you know, hurting myself, I started taking the muscle relaxants to try and uh, alleviate any pain that would be onset from, from it happening. Yeah. You know why we're so prepared? Because we had a list of things to pack. So, go check that list out. It's pretty comprehensive. And uh, I'm pretty sure we said that muscle relaxants, Advil, you know, your basic medication it was all on that list. So go check it out. Or anything specific to you, really. Like if you know that you get, you know, a cold really easily or if you have a bad ankle, um, just pack the medications that you use mo most frequently at home, which is again why we packed the muscle relaxants. <laughs> Number four. All right, number four is take it easy. Um, so I know you yes, know you yeah, might take it easy. You may be you may be on vacation and you want to hit up everything that you kind of set out to do. Um, but really, what you should be doing is taking it easy and taking it day by day. Um, so again, this is going to be an evaluation process. When you wake up in the morning, how am I feeling today? Am I going to be able to do everything we set out to do? If not, how can we adjust? That doesn't mean do nothing. Um, I'm a pretty stubborn in that sense, so uh -huh. we, still, we still went on a full excursion with my back messed up. Um, but I knew that it was something that I could handle. Um, so really you need to look into yourself and say, am I going to be able to make it through this day with the things that we have planned? Yeah, and usually just say no, like going into the wavy water. Or playing swimming. bocce ball. She needs to follow her own advice yeah, I sometimes. do need to follow my own advice. <laughs> All right, so this brings us to our last tip. Andy, take it away. Right, so if none of that helped, you've iced it or heated it, you've taken your Advil, your muscle relaxants, you've stretched, you did all of that, and it still doesn't help, it's time to seek medical attention. If you're on an all-inclusive, they usually have some sort of med medical staff available. If you're not, then uh, you need to take a look at your travel insurance and see uh, what the local hospitals can uh, provide you. Keep in mind this is going to be, di be different country by country. In if you're coming to visit us in Canada, then uh, our Canadian medical system will definitely take you in and try to help you as best you can. If you're in the US, 
take a look at your travel insurance. You don't want to be bankrupting yourself for a, a, just a twisted back, right? However, with that being said, if it is an emergency, do not wait to seek medical, medical attention, whatever country you're in. If you truly have an emergency and you need to go to a hospital, go immediately. Yes. So if you fracture something, that can cause huge problems. So go to, uh, you need to fix that first and then worry about all the other stuff later. But definitely take a look, uh, a, few th a few places to take a look is Number one, your credit card. Sometimes uh, your credit card will provide an X amount of travel insurance, uh, your travel insurance, uh, work insurance. Some that sometimes they have out of state stuff and also uh, your local government uh, health insurance if you have universal health care. Yeah. Like Canadians. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it for um, our tips and tricks for if you get injured or ill on a trip. Um, I, again, I'm just gonna stress it, like if you have things that happen to you frequently, just make sure you pack the medication that you use on a frequent basis because it will be a lifesaver. It, yes. it really will be. Being prepared is better than uh, knowing what to do on the, like, at the, uh, on, on the situation. Especially when you're in a foreign country. Especially if you're in a foreign country. Actually, a bonus tip there, and it's not really really a tip, it's just to stress that point of bring your, uh, bring the medication. Sometimes these over-the-counter drugs like Advil or Rabaxasat is not available. When we went to China, not available there. You will not be able to find a pharmacy to buy some Advil. So uh, it was great when uh, on our first trip and Tia brought some Advil, she was able to kind of survive on those uh, for our trip instead of us having to hunt down some sort of Advil replacement. Type medication, yeah. yeah. But yes, be prepared. Be prepared. All right, I think that wraps up this video. Yeah, we really need to go and uh, catch the bus to go catch the plane. We're going back to Canada where it's cold. See you in the snow. Bye.